When I was an infant, I was involved in a fire that took place in Nanjing, China, and shortly after that I was left on the streets and later found and taken to a local government orphanage where I lived for the next seven years, enduring some pretty difficult hardships, uh, a difficult childhood, but I was fortunate, uh, very lucky to be adopted at uh, almost eight years old and brought to a small town in northern Michigan where growing up I was the only non-Caucasian person in this small town, the only person with a disability in our whole county. And sport had always been a, a vital part of my story, my life, because I didn't speak the language, I didn't look like everybody else, and I thought it would be an opportunity, a way for me to transcend a lot of those social and cultural barriers that I was struggling with. But uh, I quickly found out that I was always welcome to be there, but was often excluded and left out when it came to game days and tournaments when it really mattered. And it just had such a huge effect on my self-esteem, the way that I felt about myself, but also the way that I saw people with disabilities. And it wasn't until I was 14 years old that I received a running prosthetic from the Challenge Athletes Foundation. And it changed the course of my whole life. I had never been exposed to adaptive sports or Paralympic sports at that until that age. And when I ran for the first time, it was a moment that I'll never forget because that was really the first time in my life that I didn't feel disabled, that I didn't feel limited, and I felt like all the chains that had held me down as a young girl, all the no's that I had heard throughout my life were lifted. And when I ran, I knew that I was going to be able to overcome any hardships, all the struggles, and that whatever I dreamt of or set my mind to do, I would be able to achieve it. I would not be where I am today, not only as an athlete and the person, but having had the platform and the success that I have today without the Challenge Athletes Foundation. Long before I had a single commercial sponsor, CAF was there for me, supporting me when no one else was. When I got involved in Paralympic sport full-time, I was living out of my car and on my friend's couch. I didn't have a single sponsor, but I only had the support of the Challenge Athletes Foundation. And that meant the world and still means the world to me today to have that support, but also to be a part of a community of such incredible people, of being able to give back is so meaningful for me. It's great to win medals. It's great to be on uh, ads and have that kind of success, but the most important and meaningful thing that I do with my life is my work with the Challenge Athletes Foundation. What CAF has done is that it's normalized athletes who have a disability and really elevated us, given us an opportunity to be lifted up in a way that is celebrating who we are and our accomplishments and our journeys. And that's what I'm really proud of. Paralympics, being an athlete uh, that runs with a prosthetic blade has become cool and badass, largely because of the Challenge Athletes Foundation. And so I'm just so grateful for the Challenge Athletes Foundation and show me, showing me that a single piece of adaptive equipment truly can make all things possible. <laughs>